What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight we're going to be doing a blind taste test beer battle between Coors Light and Keystone Light. The Keystone Light, this is a 16 ounce can coming in at 4.1% ABV. Coors Light, 12 fluid ounce can coming in at 4.2% ABV. Uh, the reason they're different sizes is because I bought this in a 4 pack, bought this in a 12 pack. Uh, this was coming in at 429 a four-pack of pints. This, I think I paid, well, I bought these at Walmart, so I paid a little over 13 bucks for a 12-pack. Normally, if I go to uh, my local drive through it's a little, like, convenience store. Uh, I usually pay just about 10 30-something, usually. But I was at Walmart and didn't feel like driving that far, so I just grabbed it there. So, enough about that. We're going to see, are these beers the same beer in different cans? Because they're both made by Coors. And I've heard that statement by a lot of people. Even some people that's reviewed it. They say it's basically tastes just like Coors Light, just in a different can. I don't think that statement's true, because I used to drink this stuff all the time. Just because of how cheap it is. I mean, four twenty nine a four pack of pints. That's pretty cheap. But both beers are considered cheap uh, light lagers. So we're going to uh, crack into these. I got the glasses right here. They're both labeled for each individual beer. Uh, this is Coors. I don't know if you can see that. And. Keystone. My girlfriend did this for me. We didn't have any, uh, uh, for some reason, we didn't, uh, we are out of, uh, what do you call it? Duct tape right now. So she figured out a way to do this. We have clear tape though. So just a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of duct tape, a pen. We're good. So let's go ahead. Let me make sure that's the cores. That's the cores. I'm going to pour the cores like first. I'm going to try to pour these about the same because I don't want one of the heads to stay, stick around too long and basically give away which beer is which. So we'll just soft pour them in for tonight. That's the Coors Light right there. Now let's crack into the Keystone. Now I actually haven't had Keystone Light in probably a couple of years. I used to buy it all the time because it was so cheap, but then I realized I enjoyed Coors Light a little bit more, so I figured it was worth the extra couple of bucks. So I'm gonna try to get these as even as I possibly can. Obviously, there's a little bit more head on the uh, Keystone, which is dissipating pretty quickly, but I think that's just because of the way I poured it. A, those are almost dead even. Obviously, there's a little bit more beer in this because this is a pint can. 16 ounces. Perfect, I think. Okay, so I'm going to let that head die down a little bit. Now, both, looking at the appearance, they both look pretty much, they look identical. They look absolutely identical. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and mix these up and see. Well, is the statement true? I'm really gonna be shocked. I'm, I'm really gonna be kind of shocked if I end up picking Keystone Light as the better tasting beer. So Coors Keystone. Let's mix them up. I close my eyes. We're just gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna mix them up. Make sure that I don't remember which one is which and which order. We're just gonna switch them up, switch them around. I'm just gonna keep talking, jibber jabbering, you know, blabbing like I normally do in my videos. Hopefully, I don't break the glasses or spill beer all over the place. But you know, it's part of the game. All right. Just gonna keep going a couple more rotations just to make sure I don't remember. Which beer is which? All right. Now, time for the taste test. First of all, 
We'll do an aroma test on both beers. So that smells exactly like a typical American adjunct lager. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's try this one. Still smells like your typical American adjunct lager, just not as much aroma. Yeah, this one has more. Oh, I just spilled some. Yeah, this one has more aroma than this one. Okay, we're going to start with this one first. Cheers, guys. That one's got a little bit of like a grainy aftertaste to it. Really light, refreshing, crisp, clean, as these lovers tend to be. Uh, let's go with this one. They're very close. They are they are extremely similar. The mouth feels pretty much identical. The taste is a little bit different though. But it's really not a huge difference. It's it's so close that I mean, I guess if you were drinking them and someone maybe switched out your beer, like you had it in the glass and someone just like swapped them, you might not notice. Especially if you've already had a couple that night. Uh, this one has like a microscopic amount of head retention. Like it's just barely there. And I think it might just be because I jostled it around a little bit. But I'm going to go back for this one. This one just tends to not last all that long. You know, they're both watery light lagers, but this one tends to, I don't know, kind of just like fade away. It doesn't last all that long. Let's go back to this one. This is tough. Because the more that I drink them, the more similar that they become. Now that one is tasting not as good as that one. But before, that one was tasting better than that one. And this one does have just the ever so slight indication of some lacing. And just, like I said, a little bit of that head retention is still on. Also, the carbonation in this one, much more heavy in this one than that one. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Got a burp trapped. God. They are so friggin' close, it's unreal. Like even the aroma is close. It's like I, it's almost like it's almost, you know, like I am drinking the exact same beer. Like in the beginning it kind of was like, you know, I I kind of had a little bit of an indication which one was which, but now I am stumped. I mean, the looks of this one, just because it's re it has a little bit that microscopic, you know, amount of head retention there, and the little the microscopic amount of lacing on the glass. When this has absolutely nothing, this one is way more carbonated. This looks slightly better just because of the carbonation and the slight head retention and the lacing. So I would think that that's Coors Light. 
I mean, obviously it's made with higher quality ingredients. I would assume. Unless the statement is true, they're the same beer, but obviously they're not. Guys, it's damn near a draw because of just how close they are. They are beyond similar. This is this is difficult. This is the most difficult beer battle that I've done to date. And I can't believe I haven't done this. I actually thought of this the other day and I looked at my channel and I have not done this, so... This beer looks better. Before I say anything, I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to end up drinking both of these beers before I even give my friggin' opinion on them. Excuse me. I'm stumped. They both they're 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 just too close. So I really can't tell you which one I like better because they're both so so similar. Like it's hard to decipher which one I like more. I like them both. They they both work. They're both crisp, clean, refreshing American adjunct lagers. I would recommend either. Uh, this one looks better than that one, but I'm not going to pick it on that. I'm just going to say the battle, unfortunately, will be a draw between the two. Good God. It's a draw between the two beers. Coors Light and Keystone Light, this is a draw. A tie. However, I'd still have to figure out which one I think is which. And only because this is having some lacing, head retention, and more carbonation, I'm going to say that this is the Coors Light and that is the Keystone Light. But they taste pretty much identical. Like it is hard to decipher the difference between the two. This one might have a little bit more of a fizzy carbonation mouthfeel. This one has a little bit less. But as far as the flavor goes, they're pretty much the same. Like, I'm actually shocked of just how close they actually are. So, let's reveal it. Again, my prediction is, this is Coors Light, this is Keystone Light. Pretty much the order that we started in. And that's what I think. So, let's reveal. This is Coors Light, and this is Keystone. So, yeah. Uh, this beer, obviously... Looks higher quality, you know, because of the head retention, the lacing, the carbonation, everything. This one looks flat. It is not. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can agitate this a little bit just to show you guys that it is not flat whatsoever. Well, it doesn't have a lot going on visually, but the taste is pretty much identical to Coors Light, which is kind of really throwing me off because for, for, for a while I was convinced that Coors Light was far superior to Keystone, but I guess that's really not the case. That's not the case at all here. I'll try one more time before I end the video. They're, they're, yeah, they're too close to call. It's a draw, for sure. But, that was interesting. It was a very fun video to do. Uh, I guess if you like both beers, since they taste pretty much the same, unless you want something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I guess go with Keystone Light for, for, the, for budget reasons. 
I'll go with either. They're both great. Both fine. Both uh, very sessionable beers. So, yeah. That's, that's the video. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. I was not expecting that whatsoever. But, hey. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions on videos you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try to find whatever product you guys suggest and give it a review. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time. How am I going to do this? We're going to cheers with both. I mean, it's a draw. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.